all right what is going on good afternoon people of youtube back today with another knife unboxing and initial impressions um so obviously another vero knife um man i just love what vero's doing um i've been wanting an axon forever and i finally found a neuron double detent knife in stock got it and uh, finally uh river's edge cutlery favorite knife store uh had a frame lock axon in stock not the most desirable a lot of people don't like the dlc and i get that now <laughs> um but uh i love this knife but i was looking on vero's actual site a few weeks ago and I noticed they had lefties in stock and being a lefty I was in fact intrigued <laughs> so i went ahead and snagged a liner lock as that's all they had they had some different options they had the red g10 which i don't know if anybody buys that <laughs> they had natural micarta and then they had a couple brass options i don't love the look of the brass to be honest so when you order directly from vero well it should always come in this bag uh lefty uh, belt satin black micarta got the sticker uh, little candies and uh, here's the knife in this nice pouch as always and a little attention to detail factor this is my uh, frame lock and as you can see it's a frame lock knife and it's right-handed this is my lefty liner lock as you can see it's a left-handed knife and it shows it's a liner lock thought that was pretty cool uh, just a little detail there so a very nice pouch always got a nice pouch set that aside you get the uh the nice vero microfiber you also get your coa if i don't throw it away coa lefty belt satin and uh i think that's your hardware clip and backspacer if i'm not mistaken <clears throat> wipe my camera off here it was a little hazy it's that southern humidity all right here's the knife um so it's really cool uh vero makes lefties a lot of companies don't even bother or they don't make near enough for the demand not a huge demand i think technically it's like 10 percent um chris reeve knives Probably the most prominent left-hand uh, major knife maker. They do a lot of left-hand stuff. And I really appreciate that. Especially on a knife like this, on a frame lock. Um, it, it, it's just so much more operable. Um, so as you can see, got this beautiful belt satin blade. Got those grind lines. Gorgeous. It's kind of like a stone wash on the inside of the deployment choil. Got this raw titanium pivot hardware. I do believe that's a stone wash backspacer and clip though. That's what it looks like. Um, but the hardware itself is like a raw titanium. Quick action check. Uh, check. <laughs> So I am going to do a comparison video of the frame lock and the liner lock um, to kind of get an idea. If you're looking at both and you're trying to decide, um, I think that'll be a good comparison there. But today we're just going to focus on the liner lock. Um, so the setup here with the liner lock, you get full titanium liners. As you can see, they are milled out on both sides so that's very nice uh, they're set into the micarta i will say the micarta when i first got it was very i guess white um, it was black micarta but it, it looked like almost white micarta with some like black hues but in the last few days it, it's it's breaking in really really well i put a little um mineral oil under the clip because if you've ever had micarta scales, you know, you get oil everywhere except under the clip. And it just doesn't look right and it bothers me. I've never been huge on micarta. 
Um, but I got this CK Knife Works Maverick S a few weeks ago, uh, liner lock with micarta scales, titanium liners as well. And I really, really enjoyed this little knife. Um, so when I saw they had some micarta lefties in stock, uh, I went ahead and went for it. And man, am I happy I did. So quick spoiler, so far I'm really liking the liner lock more. Um, and I'll get into that in my other video when I compare them. Um, you can check it out here, the action. Um, my thumb's already getting the, uh, you see all those lines? It's from letting knives drop on your thumb there to catch them and uh, marks your thumb up. So I'm already getting a couple from the lefty. <laughs> um, but super super smooth on the action very very happy with that you can thumb flick and on this liner lock uh it's just it's a little bit lighter decent but it's not too light i would call it perfect um deployment is no issue but it's still light enough to where you can snap it out with a little bit of effort the front flip super smooth and uh, this knife does ride on ceramic caged bearings. Um, you do get a steel washer between the titanium liner and the ceramic bearings. Um, just super nice uh, titanium milled pocket clip, all titanium hardware and pivot, as well as titanium backspacer. Uh, yeah, clean out there. Overall construction, very, very solid. Um, these are OEM'd by Best Tech. Um, I wasn't too familiar with Best Tech, um, but I will say they're coming after Riot um, with this stuff. They're, they're really, really doing a good job. They're not quite there in the small details. Um, just overall uh, put together in the knife, whatever that means. Um, but let me tell you, they are a stark competitor, in my opinion. Now, with that being said, really do do a fantastic job. This micarta is a little on the rougher side. Um, gives you really good grip, though. Um, I feel like I'm getting like a weird hue off the light or something. Let me see here. There we go. Um, a little on the rougher side and around the edges. It's a little rough here. Uh, from what people have said, from what I've seen, that wears in pretty well. Ergonomics are, you know, about the same as the frame lock. I'm gonna do too much comparison here. It is a little thicker, um, but it feels really good in the hand. And they've done some work on these pocket clips. Uh, this goes in and out of the pocket much easier. Um, they're getting there with it. They're getting there with it. One uh, little tip, if you have a super tight Axon pocket clip, uh, disassemble the knife and take the screws out, take the clip off, just clean in there, reinstall the screws with some Loctite and don't torque them down too tight. Uh, put a little dab of Loctite, get them snug, let that Loctite do its thing, and I swear that helps a little bit on the super tight clips. Um, you can just kind of grab it like this and pull it out. Uh, I did that a lot on this one. I'd be careful on the liner lock though. Um, but the uh, back to the micarta, it's kind of got these weird stripes here almost. And I've seen that on other ones. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I kind of like it. Gives it a little bit of a, a little something, something. Um, it does feel very solid though. I've got it with no blade play at all super drop shot uh you do have a ceramic detent ball um so they've got got all the all the uh little things you know all that little stuff adds up to a really nice knife um and initially when these came out they were liner lock knives if i'm not mistaken and then the frame locks came out and uh i see where all the hype came from I, I really, really like this. This belt satin, it uh, it does things for me, let me tell you. <laughs> um, 
really fantastic. And I'm just really enjoying this knife overall. Um, if, if you're wondering, is the Axon worth it? There's tons of videos out there. You've probably seen other ones. Um, but I really do enjoy it. And, uh, you know, if I don't like a knife, I generally just don't review it. Uh, I, I don't like taking knives I know I don't like and then just bashing them. You know what I mean? Um, not my thing. I like to show you knives that I enjoy and tell you why I enjoy them. Um, you know, all these knives, I buy with my own money. I own them. You know, I'm a really small channel. Uh, I don't have anyone send me anything. Um, so, you know, these are all my personal knives. And I've had dozens of knives I've got. Didn't really like. Ended up selling them. Didn't even do a video on them. Uh, you know, what I do videos on are some of my favorites. Things that stay around generally. Um, sometimes I'll do a newer knife when it comes out just to get the hype and I like it at first and sometimes you know I don't end up loving it and I move it along to uh, get some more new stuff in um, but overall fantastic job on uh, the lefty axon here um, I did have a shipping issue uh, my knife got stuck on the in transit uh stage and it never it, it got picked up and then just never updated um but vero engineering customer service a plus plus top notch responded very quickly um very helpful um and i had a really pleasant experience and i felt confident they were going to resolve the issue um so no worries there i wouldn't worry at all to order directly from vero um oh one more cool thing Number 24, son. <laughs> uh, it's really cool to get a low-numbered run like that. I really do like that. Uh, makes me wonder how many of these lefties they're actually selling. Because I would imagine this is one of the more popular, you know, belt satin black micarta. Probably one of the more popular variations. Um, but non number 24, this is the, uh, is it going to be the Kobe Axon? Or is it the uh, Jeff Gordon Axon? Because I'm from the South, you know but uh, oh man anyways gonna go ahead and wrap this up um really dig this knife look for the comparison video coming soon oh uh, i've got a uh, one for each hand uh -huh. you see the difference in actions there i do like setting them like this though back to back i think it looks cool but yeah that's why i bought two so i could do that um, guys, also look for my uh, Hinder Eclipse video coming out soon. This is another pickup. I sold off some knives. But anyways, I uh, hope you liked the review. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. Uh, subscribe for more content coming weekly. And uh, appreciate you watching. Have a great day.